what is an inverted yield curve and why does it matter? That's what I'm going to cover in this Q&A series video. And so guys, as you smash that like button, let me run that intro. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And so in this Q&A video, I'm going to talk about what exactly an inverted yield curve is and why it's important to understand. So let's just start with what exactly is an inverted yield curve. So in an inverted yield curve, it occurs when the short term debt instruments have higher yields than long term debt instruments of the same credit risk profile. Usually you'll notice that this actually goes this way. So it actually increases the yield as time goes on and what that does is it reflects the fact that holders of long-term debt have taken on more risk so this is sort of like a backwards type of situation that tends to be very rare and so the question you might be asking is why does an inverted yield curve even happen if you're getting rewarded for taking on less risk well really what's happening is that you know uh it, what it really does is it indicates that investors are moving money away from short-term bonds into long-term bonds and why would they be moving money from short-term bonds into long-term bonds well it's because they expect the economy to enter into a bit of a recession and so the fed would actually have to reduce short-term rates and so what they're trying to do and i guys correct me in the comments if i'm wrong here but what they're really trying to do is circumvent that by moving out the maturity profile for their short-term debt instruments so that they can over the long term capture higher yield and so what it's really doing is it's a effectively suggesting that the market as a whole is becoming more pessimistic about the economic prospects in the near future. And essentially, you know, I said it previously, they're expecting that the economy is going to enter into a recession or enter into some challenges. And then the Fed is going to come in and reduce the short term interest rates. Recall, guys, that the Fed only controls the short term side of the yield curve. They don't control the long term side. So, you know, if they're going to reduce rates, they're reducing it on the short term end. So the next question you might have is what exactly does a yield, an inverted yield curve suggest? And so an inverted yield curve is actually a recession indicator as the market is taking the position that the Fed will step in and lower rates as the economy enters into a recession or even just sort of like a challenging environment. So because yield curve inversions are relatively rare, they actually have often preceded recessions. Uh, they generally do draw heavy scrutiny from uh, investors because, uh, it, like I said, it is a, a forward-looking indicator into challenges that could be coming on the horizon. And so what spread should you be watching? Well, you know, most investors actually use the spread between the 10-year and the two year US Treasury bonds as a yield curve proxy. And you know what, it is a relatively reliable leading indicator of a recession, or at least it has been in the recent decades. And as you can see, as of the recording of this video, notice that it is inverted. So the two year, is actually yielding higher than the 10 year and that's why this is inverted right now and i tried to find a graphic that showed that so you can see here here when the yield curve gets inverted it actually goes under this middle line here so you can see that there is an inversion right here and then this gray shading here is exactly when we went into a recession and then again here in uh, so this was 87 and then this is the 2000 tech bubble so you can see the yield curve got inverted again and then of course we entered into a recession and then once again during the housing crisis the yield curve inverted and then once again we went into a recession and so you know now we're, we're uh, once again inverted so you know you're not seeing it here but we are once again inverted so the question is how long until we do enter into a recession and you know what um as of the recording of this video a lot of uh people are suggesting that we are going to enter into a recession so we'll see how this plays out but you know the whole point of this video is really just to explain to you what exactly is a yield curve what is its predictive value now i'm not like a super expert here and so if you guys have anything that I missed, please help everyone out by letting them know in the comments below. And the other thing is this Q&A series is the most important series on this channel. And so what I did was I put everything on a playlist. And so if you've missed any of the videos in this Q&A series, you can get access to that whole playlist right here.